I love watching videos all over YouTube where I can see people's before and after to see all the workouts that they tried that really helped them. I tried every single workout and thought it was genetics and I'd never lose weight until I went from this to this. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up. Now as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing one that's highly requested by you guys and that is my 30 pounds in one month weight loss journey. Now you guys know in the first week alone I lost 10 pounds and from going to losing nothing at all being the bigger friend friend, thigh rub, belly, jiggle, everything, you name it, I had it. And from going to that to losing 30 pounds in one month, when I struggled for so long with motivation, consistency and seeing results, I'm so glad to be finally able to share with you guys the things that have really, really worked for me. I love sharing my journey the most so much because I know how hard it is to find the right workouts, the right combinations, the right routine. And I love seeing people's journey on YouTube that really helped me and allowed me to develop what would really work for me and implementing those things to see what work best and you guys know I tried hundreds of workouts under the sun some were not very great some gave me square physique I did so many of the slim waist challenges the summer challenges that were going so viral and I found that sometimes it would give me a square appearance or just completely not work at all even though I was putting 110% in to getting the right results now before I go into this video you guys know I always like to emphasize every single person's results is going to come at different times and that is just the case of giving inspiration to you guys to give you a little bit of what I did as an insight just so you can see my journey but obviously it's going to be different for every single person but every single body is beautiful. And a number one thing I always emphasize is seeing what your starting point is because every single person's starting point, I find a lot of the time if you're starting from a bigger weight, the weight can fall off faster. But at the end of the day, no matter how quickly it comes off, it's all about motivation and that consistency because someone who started off has struggled a lot more, as long as they stay continuing with it, even if it's bit by bit, in six months, they'll get to their goal or in a year, they'll get to the goal. In two years, they'll get to their goal. So regardless of what the speed is, consistency, consistency is 100% the key. Going into the workouts, I always like to emphasize to you guys that I was eating healthy. And I really do emphasize that because it is calories in versus calories out, which is calories burnt versus calories consumed. You really, I found that I really needed that deficit. And I know a lot of the time what can be really demotivating to me is if I'm doing the deficit and I'm losing, doing the right workouts and I'm not seeing a difference. And a lot of the time it's because I'm doing the wrong workouts and I'm just not seeing any changes even though I'm in a deficit or my body can plateau. And these workouts I'm about to give you guys today are the ones that continuously, no matter what, I continue to lose weight. I was very, very, very lucky that I eventually found the workouts that no matter what my weight was going down, 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 down. I really didn't ever experience very many stuck weeks. I'm gonna go into the workouts right now. Now first things first is this workout. You guys know I have done so many Lily Sabri reviews. She's commented on my videos, she's seen my journey and she's really really appreciated how much I've talked about her workout videos but it was simply because after searching so many different workouts, trying so many different ones, nothing was working for me until I found this workout. When I tell you the combinations of the movements that she puts together are just so exquisite. They're fantastic and they give me the right motivation and push my body to lose weight. I need my body to lose weight to be motivated. I need to see those changes and I need to see the scale go down. It's absolutely not necessary because in some ways if you get demotivated by seeing the scale I always emphasize for me if I was ever getting to the point where I'm demotivated by the scale not going down to chuck the scale away and to continue Continue because regardless your body is going to continue to lose body fat and burn body fat even though that's not showing on the scales because sometimes you're building up muscle but this workout allowed me to see continuous results week after week after week after week and it burns you know when you're at the point when everyone's saying oh my goodness you have lost so much weight and you're looking amazing and it's harder for the people around you daily to see those changes because they're seeing me every day the changes are so gradual they might not see a huge overall difference but I was getting these comments from week one I lost 10 pounds 
in the first week and this workout was phenomenal. The sequence of the movements, I was sweating buckets, honestly sweating buckets and that's what reassured me that I'm pushing and I'm burning the way that my body needs to burn to get to exactly where I needed to be. Movements like this are phenomenal. I would isolate this movement and you guys know watching your favourite TV programme, watching your favourite TV shows, I would isolate this movement and in the ad adverts or the ad break I'd repeat this exact movement again and again and again, getting as much burning as I could in a 24 hour period as much as I could. I really pushed myself and gave it my all because when I start a challenge I'm like right all in let's see what this workout's got let's see if it's really really good for me and if it's going to work and that's exactly what I did and this workout was phenomenal for exactly that. It's my holy grail and I continue to do that. I did do this alongside walking 20 minutes every single day. I've gone into so much detail and showed you guys my before and after with my walking journey of how powerful walking really is and that's exactly what I did. The next Next workout is none other than this one and I love this one I think I spoke about this slightly ever so slightly like a long time ago how this one really allowed me to see differences in my thighs my thighs were the most stubborn things like honestly nothing would happen and they wouldn't go down to the point where I thought it's just genetics I give up this is what my body's meant to look like I'm not doing it, I'm not trying anymore, I'm done with trying. And it was the point where I started doing this workout, my thigh gap was thigh gapping, like everything came to play, fell into place and everything was working phenomenally for me. I was sweating buckets, I was feeling so confident, so happy, my thigh rub was going and this workout is exactly that. It burns so, so much, so if you're ready for a burn, this is the exact workout. Like I say, I tried so many different workouts, constantly not seeing results, feeling demotivated about not seeing results feeling deflated that nothing was working and this workout burnt so much I was burning I was sweating ultimately I was happy because the results were coming through I was able to test the difference with clothes as well because different clothes were starting to fit me and my goal clothes that I had bought at smaller sizes and set as goals was easing up and starting to fit on me more and more and more now aside from the workouts I always emphasize to you guys that nutritionally was the biggest change for me and because I was someone who heavily snacked who ate a lot who couldn't really maintain anything like that sugar was one of the biggest things for me and in reducing my sugar there's so many amazing videos on YouTube about how when you reduce your sugar you'll see life changes of differences in terms of how you actually begin to consume food because I know if I'm eating sugary drinks having sugary drinks those are what's spiking my insulin levels and you know within half an hour I'm going to be hungry like you know that there's just certain takeaways that you know within half an hour you'll be very very hungry and that comes down to the sugar levels and the salt levels within that food. The lower my sugar is, the less I'm going to snack and the less my body is going to prompt me to want to eat food. So I heavily reduced my sugar. I kept my sugar regulated and leveled and my snacks, snacking and snacks disappeared. When I say completely and fully disappeared, I mean exactly that. It's so powerful how much sugar really impacted my snacking and my craving. And when I removed that and eliminated that from my day-to-day -day routine and stayed so disciplined to make sure that that was actually going into place, I really saw drastic changes. Alongside that I upped my protein. Protein is so amazing for keeping satiety and keeping full and I remained confident that I needed to add it in every single meal including breakfast first meal of the day whatever time I have that whether it's a fasted meal at 12 or at 9 a.m first thing in the morning I make sure to protein and protein protein like I've never proteined before and that really allowed me to see drastic changes in the amount of food that I consumed went from plates like this to plates like this because my body and my appetite had shifted so much and I really think those two food groups reducing the sugar and and adding more protein really allowed me to see those shifts. Now guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to co come and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very, very soon. If you'd like to see any more other fitness type videos, do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below so I know you guys do like these videos and I can continue making these for you as well. Now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.